Howie Roseman will not stop. He won't. Somebody better stop him. Because he won't. Until he feels as though he's put together a Super Bowl winning team, he will not stop. Now, it's still one position that I think we need to look at. But for you to look at the safety spot, big ups to you, man. Seriously. Big ups to Howie, man. Yo, that. G-L-E-S. Say fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. Fly eagles fly. <laughs>
attempting and somebody somebody bomb uh, uh um throwing a bomb on you or something. I I haven't heard nothing. So maybe this is saying, hey man, this fourth round pick that we picked up two years ago, he ain't it. We gotta go get somebody else. Or maybe they just wanted veterans. I don't know. But today I woke up wanting to make this video. And I'm still gonna do it. I, this, this really deserves its own video, but I feel as though I talked about it enough to where as though I can mix it in with this video right here. Quez Watkins, this is your year. Quez Watkins, this is your year. Not gonna lie to you. And also Josh Sweat. Now, when I say this, right? When I say these two players can prosper probably the most just about just being the other guys. Now, Josh Sweat is not really a other guy. But when you talk about the Hassan Reddicks, not better than him. Um, I don't think, well, he shouldn't be, but he's probably getting up there. He's not better than Fletcher Cox. Yet, you know what I mean? Just the stature of Fletcher, Fletcher Cox being in the middle, I think that makes him a better a better player than Josh Sweat. Um, to me, he's he's uh, he's definitely not better than uh, 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 Hargreave. You know what I mean? We are gonna see about Jordan Davis. We are gonna see if he's better than Jordan Davis. But to me, it's gonna be so much attention, so much attention that's gonna to go to Fletcher Cox's way, Hargrave's way, uh, Jordan Davis. Um, they're gonna be worried about the Ed, the, 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 the guys in the linebacker position, um, the guy that led the league, um, basically led the league the last two years in sacks, and Hassan Reddick. You. You got all these guys that come off the edge and can get after the quarterback, and you got guys that can stuff the middle. But you are that one guy, that athletic freak that can just go crazy. And this is why I always picked Josh Sweat because of the way that he was built. For real, for real. The way he's built and his athleticism is off the charts. I looked at, I've been watching some of these games, man. I just watched, uh, damn, I can't remember the, uh, the game I just watched. He got hurt in that game. Ah, um, I can't remember, but he got hurt in that game, but he was in this, uh, this was his rookie year too. He was absolutely dominant, dominating, but wasn't getting the time because of Derek Barnett. He's going to get the time this year. And once again, the rotation should help him. Stay, stay fresh. No pun intended, but you know, stay fresh and and at the end of games, just try to be able to dominate. I, I keep, I keep telling people, I think this is the X factor for this defense, man. This dude is going to be a problem for the league. I got him having double digit sacks. I got him having ten to twelve sacks. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. Going to the, another Pro Bowl. You know what I mean? Like I really, really. I really, really can see that. Now, let's flip over to the other guy, Quez Watkins. Quez, to me, you could do the same thing because everybody is going to. Now, you have the burner speed. You do. But everybody's going to be worrying about the two guys, the bully and the, and the, and the guy with the good feet. When we talk about Devontae Smith, when you talk about A.J. Brown, these dudes are going to get so much attention. And then Dallas Goddard, who is proving in this league and to me is a top five tight end, and it's not even a debate. And not only that, A.J. Brown can play the slot. So if you put a guy like Watkins on the outside or in the slot, I think he takes off, man. Not saying a 1,000 yards, even though... And the only thing that's going to hold him back, and, I, and I've talked about this before, the only thing that's going to hold Quez Watkins back is Jalen Rinker, to me. So that's the coaching staff. Having a split time with him and Pascal. You can't forget about uh, 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 Pascal being there. But when you look at it, he then had half of the snaps that Rinker had and almost doubled 
the yards in the production. Think about that. Half the time, almost did double. So what does that tell you when you look at that? Oh, this kid needs to play more. And if he does, man, watch out. I'm not saying a 1,000, but I got 800, 850 and pushing 900. But I got him just being dominant on the field, man, because you got to you, – you gotta get you gotta give it something. You got me what I mean that the defense can't the defense can't take away everything. They can't. You can't take away everything. You can't take away Devontae Smith shiftiness and AJ's uh 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 a uh, uh, bully making, especially if the play call is right, and uh take away Quiz Walking speed. All in one game. You can't do that. Man, it's gonna be a fun fun fud season. I can't wait for it to start. Let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, shout out to um, the safety. Uh, I keep forgetting how to say his name, man. Um, Mr. Tart, thank you for coming to the foot of the Eagles. That's getting us closer to being a con contender. And let me know what y'all think about Josh Sweat and what, um, and what I said about Claire's Watkins, man. Am I right or am I wrong? Y'all already know. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that!